Hello everyone, this is Capital and welcome back to a new episode, long time no see. And today we're not gonna talk about SFML or C++, today we're gonna talk about Python actually. And a GUI helper, Qt designer, this little guy that will help us create our own um, pro projects. And we can have a Python backend. It's, I'm... Uh, creating this video making this video Because maybe you guys already know about this app, but I've had a few problems With it and I want to show everyone a Small implementation. Well, let's say we're gonna have a button uh, I forgot where is the button a push button Make it a little bigger We can call it S exit if we go down I'm gonna have 14 maybe 20 and down right here and have action buttons you can see slots signal the side the sender will be the object um got it to add the name let's call it exit the signal will be clicked, receiver will be the main window, and the slot will be closed. So, just a app that you can close. Uh, gonna save it. Let's go to desktop. And create a new folder. Let's say this uh, Python. And right here, we're gonna save it as, let's say, input. And now, oh, um, we're having an um, XML folder. You guys remember our SFML. Uh, guide about XML and you can see all the data about windows buttons everything well we can use this or we can make it a Python file how do we do that we're gonna have to press window and air to open this command cmdx okay Right here, we're gonna have to import and install three pips packages from Python. Pip install by Qt6. I already have them installed. By Qt um, tools, so we can c uh, transform it. And for Visual Studio Code, we're gonna use pip install PySide 6. It's the same thing as PyQt, but uh, there are not so many problems. Um, now, we can actually create a basic bat folder. So we're gonna have this, let's call it convert UI to Py. And call it a bat. Edit. And right here, we're gonna have a small Python. Uh, you have to write it like this because PyUC UIC is not seen by CMD all the times. So you're gonna have that, you're gonna say that it's a Python memory. Uh, PyQt6 and output of output Py input it will say input UI now if we run it you can see that we have an output of Py and if it edit you can see that is is a class window with all the data we need this is actually a um, um, x 
So this is the app. If we go into Visual Studio Code, I'm back. I just had a small problem. So we open Visual Studio Code. You can see we have the path, but you don't care about this. The UI and output pi. Um, it takes a long time to process all the interprets and extensions I have on Visual Studio, but by site six will run. And if we go run Python file. We have our app, and if we play exit, press exit, we will exit. So this is everything, guys. I know it's easy. I know it's not a lot to explain why there is to put all of this, but trust me, it's the easiest way. I've spent two days, three days trying to figure out. How PyQt works, how everything works, why the um, designer is not helping me, and I'm hopeful that it will help you a lot. So, see you next time, guys. <laughs>